Hi, I'm David Melvin, Field Service Manager with CPI North America. We're going to talk about communication issues with BEPMAX Refresh. You ever walk up to a BevMax and it shows unavailable? It's most likely a communication issue. The communication issue comes from your cabinet peripheral boards. What are the cabinet peripheral boards? Cabinet peripheral boards in a BevMax refresh. Port board, environmental board, X board, Y board, cup board. All of that is your cabinet peripheral boards. If any of these boards are not communicating to the environmental board, which communicates to your VMC, then you have a communication issue and it will show unavailable. We're going to start by opening up the service door, push the mode button two times on the control board, push the letter F star A. On the screen, you'll see V followed by four digits, C followed by four digits, E follow about four digits. What we're looking for is the C and the E to have a beginning with a digit with a one. Something just for reference, the V, Vending Machine Control Board, will always begin with a one whether I have an issue with the board or not because that is the software release. On the other boards, the cabinet peripheral boards, they have to begin with a one in order to communicate. To look at the next screen, push star, what you will see is P, X, and Y. All of those should also start with a one. If any of them begin with something other than a one, we have an issue. It won't be uncommon if I see multiple boards with either beginning with a zero or an odd number. That's where we're gonna take the next step. Now we're going to start the process of troubleshooting what boards are communicating, what aren't. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the power off. We're going to disconnect the port board, the X motor board, and the Y motor board. When I disconnect the Y motor board, it also eliminates the cup board as well. So next we power back up. And what we want to see is that the environmental board and the control board is communicating. So if I push the mode button two times, F star A, I should see V, which begins with a one. Then you should see C with zero because it's not communicating. I have it disconnected. But what I'm really looking for is the E that begins with a one. If the E begins with a one, then I have just verified that the environmental board is working and the control board is communicating. If I power up and I still have zeros on the environmental board, what I have to do next is find which board is bad. Is it the control board or is it the environmental board? I turn the power off. I disconnect the 24 pin harness from the environmental board. I need to set my meter on ohms and I measure from pin 11 to pin 12. I should have at least 2.0 or higher ohms. If I have zero or only a half a ohm, you just verified the uh, environmental board is bad. Now the next, you have to go from pins 11 to 23. Same deal. As long as it's got a high ohm reading, then that connection is good. If I'm only a half a ohm or zero, then the board is get bad. So if both of those connections have the proper ohm readings, then you just verified that your environmental board is good, but your control board is bad. So next we power off because the port board would be the easiest and most convenient. You plug the port board back in, power back up, push the mode button two times, F star A, and because the port board is on the second page, I push star, and what I'm looking for is the P beginning with a one. 
If the P begins with a one, I've just verified that my port board is good. If it still shows a zero, then that port board is not communicating. I turn the power off. I disconnect the port board. The next step is to plug the X motor board in, power back up, push on the control board, mode button two times, F star A, and because the X motor board is on the second page, I push star, and you're gonna see P zeros because we disconnected it. X, if it begins with a one, the X motor board is good. If it begins with a zero, the X board is also bad. If it is bad, I'm going to turn the power off, disconnect it. But if it is good and shows a one, I will leave it connected. So the next step is to plug the Y board back in and the Y board will also connect the cup as well. So when I power back up, mode button two times, F star A, and because the cup is on the first page, if it says C and begins with a one, that's great, the cup works. Push the star because the Y board is on the second page. If it begins with a one, the Y board is also okay. Now, if I came up back up and I had C zero, go to the next page and Y show one, then my Y board is good and the cup board is bad. But if both of them show zero, I need to eliminate the cup. So what I do is I power off, I disconnect the cup board from the Y board, power back up. Does the Y board communicate? If it does, then I've got a bad cup board as well. But doing this process and having one board plugged in at a time is gonna help you eliminate very quickly which board or boards are bad. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of information out there and it's valuable. Uh, you, you'll get a lot out of it. Thank you.